joined today uh, by Dr. John Lipman. He is the founder and the medical director at the Atlanta Fibroid Center. Good to have you with us. It's great to be here. You know, fibroids are something I think that are so private for so many women, we don't want to talk about it. First, yeah. explain what in the world fibroids are. Fibroids are the most common benign pelvic tumor seen in women. So they're not cancerous, they're benign, and they're very common. Uh, up to 80% of African-American women have these benign tumors. So it's common in all women, but particularly women of color. And you said they're very common, but are they dangerous? No, they're not dangerous, although they can cause a lot of misery in a lot of women. And that's where we become involved. Okay, so, so what happens? You say you've got fibroids. Some women may not even know they have them. How do you know you have them, and how do you know they're causing issues? Well, for a lot of women, they have these tumors, as you say. They don't know they have them. They don't cause any symptoms, and they don't need any treatment but they are the most common reason why women have heavy periods. So mm. usually it's the very heavy prolonged periods that bring them to medical attention. So what do you do? I mean, do they have to be surgically removed? Well, hopefully not. The okay. most common reason why women have these heavy periods are these benign tumors. Now, a lot of times they'll go to their gynecologist and gynecologists are all surgeons. And unfortunately, all too often they'll end up with surgery. But I'm here to tell you that we have a procedure called uterine fibroid embolization, UFE, it's been performed for the last 25 years, very safe, very effective. It's non-surgical, mm -hmm. it's outpatient. Patients go home the same day with a Band-Aid hmm. and they get to keep all their parts. So do Dr. Lippman, if left untreated, can't fibroids cause some major issues, including infertility? They can, they cause, as we mentioned, a lot of heavy bleeding and the bleeding right. will lead to a deficit of iron and hemoglobin. And so they'll become chronically anemic, very weak, tired, fatigued. They get, may, may get migraine-like headaches. It can cause a lot of pain by pushing on pelvic nerves. It can cause urinary frequency, waking mm -hmm. up you know, at night and urinating more frequently. So there's a lot of misery that can come along with these fibroids. But the important message is, no matter what your gynecologist says, you do not need to have hysterectomy for these fibroids. Because hysterectomy is the second most common surgery done in the United States. And it's done most commonly for these benign tumors. So you don't have to do something so drastic for benign disease. There mm -hmm. is this other option, but you got to know about it. And what about the age of women who are more prone mm -hmm. to this? Is it younger women, older women, or across the board? Well, in African-American women, they present with fibroids earlier. They tend to get them bigger and more numerous. And so they're more likely to get hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you look racially, African-American women get hysterectomy for fibroids, whereas Caucasian women tend to get hysterectomy for cancer, which is appropriate. So they'll get them earlier in life, but typically we'll see patients in their maybe late 20s, 30s, and then as high as into the 50s. Mm -hmm. um, Postmenopausal women typically don't suffer with fibroids, although sometimes we'll see them for bulk related symptoms, not the bleeding, but say the pain and urinary frequency. Right. So the peak is somewhere between 35 and 50, but we'll see them younger and we'll see them a little bit older as well. Okay. Well, the good news is that there are options for women out there other than surgery. We appreciate you coming in to talk to oh, us today. Thank you very much.